Hey guys, it's me again, Chriselle, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to do the clutter plus donation plus the Balikbayan box. What's inside of my Balikbayan box, and I have to send that as soon as possible. Uh, but before that, I have to do my nails today because yesterday I keep telling myself that uh, I need to do my nails, I need to do my nails because uh, Christmas season, I have to have nice nails of course so after that I'm gonna start decluttering and uh, probably keeping some baby clothes for our family just as souvenirs and majority of the baby clothes is gonna go for donation in the Philippines so let's start this day and I have to drink my coffee first and look at my nails this needs miracle right now all right guys I so will see you later hello everyone I'm back and I did my nails so look at my nails this is so pretty and I am really satisfied with their service I went to Texas nail salon and uh, Rin is the one that did my nails so if you are from San Antonio and if you want to have a nice nails and good service or excellent service try that nail salon and it will give you good experience this is not collaboration with the nail salon or whatever it's just that me don't want to recommend this nail salon because they really did a good job so let's start the declutter right now slash donation and then I'm going to show you the like wine box is almost full and ready to go so I'm gonna show you all the clothes that I collected here and I'm going to fix this clothes right now and separate it from age like zero three years old three years old to six years old something like that so it's easy for them to know or for my parents to know what age is that for by the way this is for boys and girls but majority of this are for girls because Vincent's clothes I already donated it last year in one of the charity here for Kristen's clothes I decided to keep that I told Isaiah that I'm just gonna keep all her clothes because it's kind of souvenir or something like that but when I was listening to father Jerry's mask he specifically told everybody that don't hold on to things if you can give it to someone that is in need give it to him or give it to them right so you can help others and after that I told myself oh my gosh I need to let it go and try to help people that are in need and without clothes and this little thing's gonna make them happy especially kids you know so um, with the help of my parents of course and my sisters in the Philippines and they are the one that's gonna give this away for, to those kids all right so let's start separating these things now so I can put this in the box with Vincent I did not do this with all his clothes I just like oh I'm just gonna donate it to charity but with Chris Lynn, I feel like I need to because she's a little girl and all her clothes are like, cute. So I feel like I want to keep this. But Father Jerry is right. We have to let it go and give it to someone that is in need or people that are in need. I want to tell you guys, the majority of Kristen's clothes are never used clothes. They're brand new. Kristen is a little bit in bigger size and majority of her clothes are all gifts. They didn't expect that Kristen is going to be a big baby. So like this one here, this is new actually. Never ever wear this clothes because it is super small. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick some clothes that are really memorable and I want to keep some clothes that will remind me when they're little they're all brand new fill in the hangers and the tags so it means that they're really brand new I think I'm just gonna keep this one. Oh my gosh I feel guilty okay well they have little pants look at this it's so cute let's donate this to the babies these are for 12 months old she's only 12 months but look at this, not really fit on her anymore. Little shorts here. I wanna separate all the pants. All right, so look at this towel. This is brand new towel too. Oh my God, look at this, it's super cute. It's gonna go for donation and also this one here. These are all zero to three months old. Oh my God, look at this one here. I wanna keep this because it has a memory for me. I have this little cutie here. I love dressing her up because she's a little girl. But now she doesn't want to. She's just everywhere. Hey, they're all new. I promise it's only one time use. Every single day, she's like growing too fast. I mean, gaining weight too fast. First one piece on her first baby picture. All the clothes with memories, I just want to keep that. Oh my gosh, I remember I bought some clothes for her that never ever used it because it's not fit. Like this one here. I love this one here. Oh, I don't want to keep this. I want to give this to someone or to a baby. I want to give this to a baby that really 
gonna make their the parents happy you know because it's really cute i mean this is just simple thing but for us parents or moms so we have baby girls we always want to dress up our babies you know because it's cute look at they're so small and chrislyn is nine pounds so she's really thick baby so this one i love this one i'm gonna keep this one because it's a memory too for my baby and look at this one here little yellow B. Okay, put that there. I'm going to keep this one because all the clothes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 months old or 12 months old, I am going to keep those clothes because it's a memory clothes for me. So, 0 to 3 months old done with a towel. <laughs> Probably three to six months old okay so this one is yeah i'm right like this is uh three to six months old okay a little bit bigger but still it's not fit on her look at this i'm i'm my daddy's girl and my mommy's world so i'm my daddy's girl and my mommy's world oh i remember all this shirt here all new no, it's just not fit on her to six to nine months old so i ordered this online they're all the same cuts but different style and like summer you know summer vibe all right so these are all pjs look at how big it is when she was three months old this is for six to nine months old and she was wearing this when she was three months old she's a really big baby okay they're all the same this PJs are really soft, baby skin friendly. That's why I'm buying a lot. The same brand, the same cloth, but of course different designs, different colors. Let's see if I have it here. And this little shorts here is for 18 months old. She's only 11 months old and these shorts, little shorts, not fit on her anymore. Don't worry guys, she's on diet right now. The doctor already told me I have to put her on diet. That's why now she's on diet. Okay. So this one, oh lord, I remember I bought this one. I'm so excited to put it on her and not fit. Let me tell you guys, the size of the clothes that she is wearing right now is for four to five years old size, which is crazy, right? But what to do? It's okay. It's a little chunky. I want to keep this one because this is from her Tia and I just want to give importance to those kind of things you know and i'm going to skip this one here oh babe look at this can use this for christmas so, if it's still fit on her she wore this last christmas so i am going to give this one here and this one too is the photo shoot that we did or when she was little like i want to keep it all but no not necessary the majority of this needs to go away oh she's crying and also this one, I have to keep this. This is new. Look at this. I want to keep this because this is from her Tia Marisa. I know in the Philippines, they are using Lampin, which is a white cloth for them not to move. But here, um, we're using this one here. This one really helps. And of course, you don't have to do all those kind of foldings with a white cloth. And this really makes your life easier. And I have another one here. So this clothes here, pretty much used this is vincent's clothes and you know vincent he is very small baby he will keep repeating clothes every time for vincent we literally watch him growing from very small little boy like oh my gosh 4.7 pounds baby super small because he's pretty much your baby and there's a lot of things happen to him a lot of surgeries you know we me and isaiah are like talking about this every now and then like he is growing super slow when it comes to his body but mentally he is very smart little boy but the motor development and the body like like the size we really struggled a lot so that's why i'm telling you guys he's gonna keep repeating the clothes every time well he's three years old right now and his size of clothes is four years old and almost the size of Kristen. Well, Kristen is wearing four to five years old, so they're both wearing four years old size clothes. Me and Isaiah is well not gonna forget those moments of of struggle, moments of happiness, and moments of like down because of 
health conditions of Vincent and now he's a very healthy, loving and happy little kid and a very smart, very smart kid. So now we are moving on to all these clothes here. These, these are all probably new clothes. This is from her Pia Cecilia, her um, godparents or her godmother. And I really do want to give this away because every Halloween Vincent is wearing this one. So I'm like, done with it. Next costume, next year. And this little bear here. Let's give this away too. If they can handle it in all the Philippines. It is very humid and not really cold weather. But it's not that hot weather. But who knows if they can enjoy that. And for Vincent's clothes, this is two years old clothes. And a little jacket here. Okay, so this one is nice. You can use this for, you know, going to mass or going somewhere. And all right. This one is oh, there's one more. And this one is for 102 years old. Oh my god, there is more in here. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the plastic first before I move on to that little box there. Second, let's put this in here. So, at first, I'm like thinking that why do I have to send this to the Philippines? There's a lot of charity here in the United States that, you know, can give this. But I feel like I'll be more happy and a lot of babies are going to be more happy in the Philippines because we all know that not everybody are fortunate, right? So, sometimes giving them clothes are going to make them happy. And this is just one thing that it's going to be like... Uh, those uh, situations that they don't need to buy new clothes anymore or or buy another clothes and save that money for their food right so I told Isaiah I said no I'm just gonna send this to the Philippines because I know that they need more help there than here because we all know that here you know guys the, the government really helps those families but I know that the government in the Philippines too are helping the families but um, it's just that Sometimes it's not reaching the people that are really in need. I'm really learning a lot from Father Jerry, or even if he doesn't know me in person and I don't know him in person, but hearing him and seeing him every Sunday, it makes my heart happy. His words are really like touching your heart. So if you guys wanna hear something, you know, and want you know, sometimes we just need one person or prayers or anything that's gonna remind us the right thing to do, I guess. And hearing that words from him during mass, it really touches our heart, me and Isaiah. And that's not a lie. And it's just very, very genuine and very, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know how to explain it. But if you guys have time, just go and search him on YouTube and you can see the Catholic Mass there. So these are all the decluttered baby clothes and uh, I'm going to put this in my buying bag which is already full. But we'll see if it's all gonna fit there. And let's go! Alright guys, so now we are going to put this on the box. But I have to really figure out a way to put all these clothes in that box right now i'm gonna show you the box so this is the box right now and look at this of course i have my ate judy here so that's for my sister and i have all kinds of uh, vitamins there for my aunt for my tita and my mom's at the bottom of this box they are all canned goods that i want my mom to donate it to you know um in need they're gonna separate it and put some canned goods in there and give it to some of the families that are in need in town so that's what i told her to do and she said she will do it for me and yeah well, let's figure out how to do this my plan is to send this box a month ago but it didn't happen because you know i we really don't want to go outside and buy some food and i didn't even buy clothes for them and uh, you know the usual thing that we always give them OFW people you know what I mean these are all my Tita's vitamins my aunt and uh, I'm just like thinking to buy it here to help her you know 
It's all right guys, this is not really gonna work. So I need another Balik Bain box to finish all of this. Probably the medium size, not the jumbo size anymore. <laughs> Look what happened. <laughs> Oh my god. So that's not gonna work. They're not gonna accept it. So that's it for tonight and it's getting late now. And I still need to fix this box. I'm gonna call the store tomorrow if they have medium size of box and they can still fill more things in there. And that's it. I really did enjoy this video and filming this content because it is very personal for me. So alright guys, I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And please give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it. I hope to see you guys on my next vlog. Please stay safe, spread the love, and God bless you all everyone. Bye.